Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joined. Over here we talk about dental school, getting you into dental school, and whatever else I want to talk about. Today we're going to talk about a question that I've been getting quite a lot since graduating, and that is, do you like being a dentist? People ask me that all the time, and these are girls, and they're deep into their dental school career. Like, we're already there. Oh, that's my coffee. Anyway, it's a valid question, and y'all do need to know the answer. So let's... Let's get it poppin', okay? So the answer in short is yes, I do like being a dentist. However, there are a lot of moving parts and a lot of parts of being a dentist that I, not that I wasn't prepared for, but I didn't quite expect it. So once my coffee's done brewing, just a moment. Okay, we're back. All right, so number one, Dentistry is very hard on the body, okay? Y'all, it hurts. Your back is gonna hurt, my neck, my back, you know, finish it. Um, <laughs> so you're sitting, you can have the best posture all day long and your body's still gonna hurt, your neck's still gonna hurt. People have shoulder problems, back, neck. Some people, their vision, oh my God, hearing? Y'all, if you, the dental drill all day long, hand pieces, the sterilization machines, that will, you're hearing, you're hearing it's gonna decline. My friend recommended these headphones, they're called Eargasm, I'll put a link here. I haven't gotten them, but he said they work really well and I, I trust them. So, <sighs> y'all, it's hard on your body and if you're really taking care of yourself properly, you're probably gonna spend around four to $500 between a chiropractor, yoga, Pilates, and massages every month. People are expensive. Did y'all know that? I've like, I respect it though. I want to see a chiropractor. I want to see a professional, and a professional is gonna run me some money. So there's that. Um, another part is that dentistry is expensive to even do, aside from the cost of dental school and paying for your student loans, the malpractice insurance, the disability insurance, your loops. You're gonna want new loops, like the lights, everything and dentistry is expensive, all the equipment. So of course there are ways to get around that. But I bought a cheaper pair of loops, like I bought a pair for $1,500 and I hate them. I don't like them. I'm gonna have to go back to Oroscoptic. I just didn't like the wired light thing that I had going on. And so I needed something different and I wanted something cheap. I've learned my lesson with that though, so not gonna happen again. Another thing is that people feel like Based on social media and all the things, it feels like you have to be doing beautiful aesthetic cases in order to be doing good dentistry. And that couldn't be further from the truth. You can excel anywhere in dentistry, you can be impactful anywhere in dentistry, as long as you are making an effort for your patients. So for me, my patient base, average age is probably 65, 70. My patients are old, okay? And these people, they want function. They want to be able to smile in pictures with their families at weddings and holidays and all that. They don't need a Hollywood smile. They don't need a social media selfie perfect cheese. They don't need that. They don't want that. I'm here to give them what they want. The people want this tooth taken out so that they can eat without pain. I will do that for them. If they want some partials, some people come in no teeth at all. They're like, I need some dentures and I don't want anything that I have to use adhesive with. I can do that for you. It's just like whatever you want to do is what you can do. And I know that's very basic and cliche to say, but, oh, did we stop recording? We're still recording. Okay, good. Um, basically find your patient base and figure out how you can serve them best. So for me, I'm probably gonna have to learn how to place a couple implants here and here, 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 learn how to do that restore them with some dentures and that is going to be what i do for my patients i don't really want to fly all over the country going to all types of classes to figure out how to do this this and that i can figure it out here in houston or just here in texas i love going to dental conferences but i'm not going to break my back to be all over the country i'm also not going to spend tens of thousands of dollars in classes because i don't want to and i don't have to i love a good referral and that's okay, always remember that a referral is okay. You don't have to be able to do everything. And yeah, like I feel like there's plenty of opportunity and plenty of opportunity to learn 
right around where you are unless you're in some rural part of the country you can probably get it done right where you are another thing how do i like dentistry y'all the patients <laughs> the patients are the best part and the worst part of this job because some patients are so grateful they're so understanding and they're so um like they comply not even comply but they help you do your job and that is so important because some patients they just it's a fight it's a fight y'all and i still have to treat them with kindness respect empathy all those things i still have to provide a great service and a great experience for those patients too even if they're not helping me and it's all day like you don't really have the option of not working with patients as a dentist unless you are like a radiologist or an oral pathologist yeah it just is what it is and I'm just very grateful because I definitely improve my people skills, my communication skills, and just my understanding of other humans by doing this job. But, ooh, you gotta learn how to let stuff go. You gotta learn how to leave work at work. And yeah, another part about dentistry that I really do love is the flexibility it gives me. So I work four and a half days a week, Friday afternoons. I'm not Dr. Joe anymore. I'm not, and I really want to go down to four days a week. Like, you don't see me at all on Fridays, but that's for later. Um, with dentistry, I get to live my life, do all the things I want to do, really get the things I want to get. Like, I have a dog. I have a backyard for my dog. I have time to travel. I have the funds to travel. Whatever is important, you probably have the ability to do it with dentistry, and yeah definitely be responsible though that is one thing that they don't really prep you for in dental school like you need to learn how to do taxes you need to learn how to budget and invest because all those things are very important just because you don't need it to do dentistry you need it to live a comfortable life while you're doing dentistry and after you're done practicing dentistry so please keep that in mind i have a couple of book recommendations i'll put them in the link below or in the description box below so that y'all can see but yeah just Dentistry is hard, but it's worth it. I'm grateful that I get to be able to provide care for my patients in this way. It is very scary at times for them, and I could understand why. Dentistry is not for the faint of heart. And just people that even have the courage to walk in the door to sit in my chair, I'm grateful that they're there, and I'm going to do what I can to help them have a good time. If you are someone who doesn't do well with anxiety and like people around you being anxious you're gonna have to work on it because you're already in dental school probably or you're already in this profession and you gotta work on it because people are, are terrified to come see us and either you're going to help them through that or you're going to shame them for it and if you shame them for it they're not gonna like you very much and they're probably not gonna come back to see you anyway this is a really cool field this is a great career path if i had to do it again would i maybe Maybe not. I now see that there are lots of different career paths and things that you can do to provide care to people. I feel like I'm a caretaker and so whatever I'm doing for work, I have to be taking care of people. I'm a caretaker, I wanna do it. And this is a really great option for me anyway. I'm already here, I'm in it. I'm moving and grooving through dentistry and I'm grateful for it. So until next time y'all, if you have any other questions, please leave them below in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to hear from y'all. Anyway, bye.